So I updated my Huawei X1 Pro Max before heading out for a hike. And let me just say, this thing feels like a brand new camera now. With the latest update, you get spiral mode, co-pilot everywhere, longer zoom outs, dolly zooms and even smarter tracking. I'll show you how they all worked out in real world shooting and which one instantly became my favorite. This video is sponsored by Hover Air. As a creator, we are always chasing ways to add cinematic motion without extra gear. You want shots that make your video look bigger, smoother, more intentional. And these updates? They do exactly that, whether you're out hiking like me, shooting travel content or just filming for fun. Updating is straightforward. Just open the Huawei X1 app, connect your X1 and run the firmware update. The Beacon and Joysticks update too, and you instantly notice smoother performance, faster preview streams and less waiting around. But the best part is this. After you update, it feels like you just unlocked a brand new toolkit with new flight path, smarter tracking, more reach, and even iconic somatic effects built right in. Out on trail, I put each of these upgrades to work. Spiral mode. This one was an instant favorite. Imagine a cavern circling around you, but with each loop it slowly spirals outward and upward, revealing more of the background. In this mode, you hover air ascends while circling around you. Then descends with more rotations, capturing a flowing cinematic sequence that starts close, rises to reveal the scene and sweeps back down. It's like a reveal shot, an orbit and crane move all rolled into one. Perfect for dramatic openings and closings. It gives you a true main character moment. And what I love most is how cinematic it feels with almost no effort. Normally, you need a skilled drone pilot to get that kind of smooth outward spiral. Here, it's literally a signal button press. Now let's talk about Copilot. Before, it was limited to a couple of modes. With this update, it works in all automated flights. I tested it in zoom out, which usually just pulls straight back. Halfway through, I could adjust the X1 mid-flight. That flexibility is huge. It means you're not stuck with one robotic movement. You can improvise, adjust framing on the fly, and still have the automated motion take over seamlessly. It feels less like you're flying a gadget and more like you're directing a camera operator. Next up, the extended distances. Birdseye can now go all the way up to 100 feet overhead, and zoom out can stretch to both 50 and 100 feet. I tried the Birdseye at full height, and it completely changed the feel of the shot. Instead of a small overhead clip, it captured the entire landscape around me. The sense of scale was so much bigger. These longer distances give you a wider canvas to work with. If you're in a big open space, it makes your shots look more cinematic and polished. This one's proof in making magic, the dolly zoom, also known as the Hitchcock or Vertigo effect. It keeps the subject the same size while stretching or compressing the background. It's not something you'd use in every clip, but when you want drama or tension in your story, it's a perfect tool. Normally you need a gimbal, a zoom lens and careful timing to pull this off. Now it's just a flight board baked right into the hover air. Finally, side track with photo correction. This was one of the most practical improvements. I was walking along a trail with the camera filming from the side. Then suddenly I switched directions and started walking the opposite way. Instead of drifting or losing the frame, the X1 recognized what I was doing and repositioned itself to keep me at the same relative angle as before. For creators filming sports, action or even just walking shots, that's a big deal. It means your framing stays consistent and cinematic, even when you change direction or speed unexpectedly. So that's the latest upgrade for the Hover Air X1 Pro and Pro Max. And honestly, it feels like this little flying camera just learned a whole new set of filmmaking tricks. Out on the trail, Spiral Mode gave me sweeping main character reveals. Copilot made automated shots way more flexible, the extended distances added scale to the landscape, Dolly Zoom brought that classic cinematic drama, and sidetrack autocorrection kept everything locked in even when I switched directions. For creative loft outdoors, this update is huge. It means you can head out on a hike, a ride or a trip and come back with shots that looked like they were planned with a full crew. No extra gear. No complicated setup, just you, the camera, and a lot more creative freedom. If you already own one, update it now. You feel like it just leveled up your filmmaking toolkit. And if you're still on the fence, these upgrades makes the Hover Air X1 Pro and Pro Max one of the best companions for creators who want to capture their adventures in a way that really stands out. Drop me a comment with the feature you would use first. 
personally, Sparrow Mode has already earned a permanent place in outdoor outdoor shoots. Check out this video next to learn more about filmmaking and filmmaking gear and how to use them. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye for now.